Hello, what's up? Ali here and welcome back to our corner. On this video, we are going to show you how we can play GameCube and Wii games on our jailbroken Wii. This is not to promote piracy. This is for our gamers who want to take advantage of this method to be able to continue playing the backup of their games while saving the lenses of their favorite console. For this video, our Wii has to be jailbroken first. If you need a guide on how to jailbreak your Wii, I will leave a link on our description for a guide on how to jailbreak our Wii. On this video, I will also assume that you have a backup of your games. We are also going to need an application called the Wii Backup Manager. You can find the link on our description, so just open the link and click on this part to download. And now to prepare our hard drive, our external hard drive must be formatted to FAT32. And on the root of our hard drive, create a folder named Games. In this folder, we have to place our GameCube ISO. And for our Wii games, we have to create another folder and name it WBFS, all capitalized. And inside this folder, we have to create another folder where we will place our WBFS formatted games. Here, for example, our Donkey Kong Country Returns. So we have to create another folder. And inside this folder, we have to place our WBFS files with the game code of the game. Now to summarize for our Wii games, if we check the root of our hard drive, we should see the WBFS folders. And inside this folder, we have to create another folder for every game where we are going to place our WBFS files with the game code in this format. To check the game code of the game, this is where the Wii Backup Manager will come into play. After downloading the Wii Backup Manager, just extract it and open its folder and run this application. Now on the drive one, click on the drop down menu and choose the drive where you have your WBFS games. In our case, it's on our drive G. It will automatically detect all of the games in this folder on ISO and WBFS format. And here you can find the game ID or the game code of the game. So say for example, you have created your backup for Resident Evil 4. Let's go access our hard drive, then the game. So if you have prepared your backup and your Wii is not recognizing the game, make sure that it has the correct game ID. It has to be the game ID .wbfs. Now this Wii Backup Manager can also convert ISO to WBFS. Say for example, you have created a backup of your game on ISO format and you want to convert it to WBFS, you can use this application. Now let me go ahead and show you how we can uh, convert the ISO to WBFS. Going back on the Wii Backup Manager, go back to the drive one, click on the drop down menu, and choose the drive where you place your ISO. In our case here, I have my ISO placed in my drive C. Make sure that it's in a folder named WBFS so that the Wii Backup Manager can recognize your game. Now we have here the Okami in ISO format. Now let us go ahead and convert this to WBFS and at the same time transfer this to our external hard drive. So all you have to do is just check the game that you want to convert. Then click on transfer. Choose the file format. Then choose the folder where you want to transfer. Let us go ahead and transfer this in our external hard drive. After the transfer, it will be converted in a format as it has to be. Now we can go ahead and test this on our Wii. On our Wii, we have to insert our external hard drive in this USB port. The one on the right side, if your Wii is laying down, it's on the bottom port. Now let us go ahead and test our games. Let us start with our GameCube games. And for this, I would strongly recommend to use the application Nintendo. Select USB. It will load the games in the USB. Now all you have to do is just simply select your game. Now let us go ahead and test our Wii games. For the Wii games, the best loader is the USB Loader GX. Then all you have to do is just simply load your game. Let us go ahead and choose the game that we have converted from the ISO format.
So this will be it for now. If you have any questions or suggestions, please go ahead and share them on our comment section and I will gladly address them. And again, my name is Ali. If you find this video helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe. And I will definitely see you on our next video. Bye-bye.